sure this one's off too. We've already had a network disconnect. Anyway, we're just getting to meet Colin at this point. Well, that's that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't that also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, where did the file go? Must have been the box? Nope, oh, guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. I will... <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock to decide. I'd rather play Logic. I forgot it, so you go get it. And go play it, Spock. Updated the system. Practically configuring itself now. Good, that'll save some time. Pretty down to business, huh? Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. So, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin sent to this patient instead? Yeah, but their rosters were full at the time, so we heroically volunteered. Yeah, they got nothing to do today, huh? No. I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Try to leave him be. Services only make my job better. Don't you have to go get something before we can get started? Don't worry, I'll bet be back before you realize that I shouldn't have forgotten it in the first place. Sincer seriously, my apologies. Anything I can help with? I'm just gonna head downstairs to get something. I think Rosaline could use some help in a bit. Okay, understood. Wait, what? A song of solid dihydrogen monoxide rapid os oxidation? They too succumb to the mortal wounds as the last of the. It's too much of like, a day job for my taste. Get the patient status monitor. Colin's medical doc first. Good idea. Don't want to be snoozing when he gives when it gives the long note. Here, it should help. See the remote patient monitor. Just a wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me tumors. Oh boy. Oh. It's just me being stupid. I wasn't kidding. This thing really is configuring itself. It does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. So that means I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool. In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. I kid, I kid. You think I can help with Doc? Mind telling me a bit about your father before we get into his head? Well, he's a retired airline pilot. Quite the people person. Work hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Well, more recently... Recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. I'm gonna show you around before your colleague comes back. Maybe that'd help. 
It would, thank you. Asher has joined us. Is this your dad's? Sure is. It reminds him of back when he trained flying those. parents? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about the picture I was a kid, but it's kind of sweet they kept it so well. Homegrown hibiscus. Ooh, it must be hard growing tropical plants all the way out here. I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. I had these around the house for as long as I can remember. This is some kind of family tradition. Am I live? Yeah, I'm live. Okay. Let's stop being stupid. There's something here. Dang it, why is the toilet paper never on the dispenser? <laughs> One day they'll thank me for the unsung hero that I am. cello with quite a few scratches across the board. My father's old cello. Played a lot back in the days. Not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. It just plays the scales, though. Not exactly music to be enjoyed. Age digital piano. Was your father's, or... No, it was my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. Intentionally, I hope. Wait, 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 there's more. It looks like there's something here. Maybe not. Maybe we should go upstairs. I don't see many apartments with multiple floors. Most of this floor is for maintenance. It's got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. Of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and barrier reef. The painting in the bedroom is of the same place. Huh, seems like they missed one. Do you recognize that book? It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yeah, it's sealed up. Want anybody reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say we leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. Let's leave it alone for now. If it's of any importance, we'll be able to see it soon enough. Keep moving. Ooh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. What's this? The family photo album. It goes way back. Musical photo album in this day and age? It's like it'd turn to dust if I open it. It's quaint, but I guess they like having something they can touch. Look through it if you want. I'll go check on my father. I should go get the machine ready, too. My colleague will be back soon. I'll check this out for a bit first. <laughs> yeah, Asher graduating. Asher playing soccer. Cello on the piano. Get your 
her back. Yep, nice lady in brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. Lay off the sugar, kid. Look good for your head. You fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you guess? Do I look that much like a hero? Second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who's this time? Alan Reed's. Heard of him? Richard Pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. I'll give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. Whoa. Dying, dear. Excuse me, ma'am? Cut and tag, you're from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeds, do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound so awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After seeing, after years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. I'm gonna take the scenic route there. the office. Oh no! Hello? Rox, it's me. You know, still hi hiding your caller ID? Getting calls from unknown feels like even a horror movie, you know? My bad, I'll turn it off next time. No, I love the suspense. I'm like, am I getting cursed? The feds coming after me? The excitements are endless! Alrighty, anyways. Loki, you're still at the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Okie dokie puck. Okie dokie pocky Loki. Give me a moment. Hey, you got the file? Eva, I think I forgot it back at. You what? Don't worry, I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. Find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on your table after all. Jeez, great, just scan it and... Wait, my, t my table? You're in my room? Yep, yeah, you asked me to get the files, right? They're from the printer in the lobby. How did you get into my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, girl's got her ways. Okay, look, just get the, out of there and send me a scan, would you? Don't touch anything, I just organized it. Yep, yep, on it! Oh no! Oh no! Keep in mind, I haven't played the mini-sode, so I don't know what's going on here. You guys got everything else you need? Yeah, Ava's configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? What? 
Nice out for a drive? I guess so? You know, I think I'll just come over and get, get you the file in person then. But why? Just can't send over a copy. We've got no patience today, and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. Wait, rocks! Oh boy! Dang nabbit. doing here? You had got my part done. How about the file? You said Roxy is sending the scans? Uh, she said she's delivering it in person, for some reason. What? That's wasting both our time and hers! Hers, mostly. We can still start. Still, I mean, I know she's a bit cucumbers in the head and all, but... Whoa, language, Eva! Anyway, we'll worry about her loopiness later. Shall we start? All right, just get the patient equipped up. Uh, Neil? Mm -hmm. Never mind, we'll talk later. Your helmet's on the recliner. We're all set. And away we go! Wait. Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? We were going through his memories to grant him his last wish, duh. But you already knew. Yes, I do, do know that, but... How? What will you actually be doing? Well... Yeah, let's elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work says the technician. Who knows best? Machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. The form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him, it would be indistinguishable from a lifetime of real memories. However, the permutations the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. That's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent as far back as we need, drawing a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So, in his simulated life free run, he'll make all the kick arse decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition. Is that enough? I thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. And can't you two just make whatever happen or whatever needs to happen happen? Yeah, let's keep going. Perhaps, but one problem. You're not brain dead. There are a few things that uphold the illusion of reality. Logical happenstances aren't one of them. But since the world still needs to be still must be self coherent, we can't do more than simply influence them. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's a little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They start strong, then plateau, then fade. In the simulation, based on the mental state of a single movement, stretched through a lifetime, just say that it's some powerful voodoo, man. Anyhow, no amount of volition's gonna help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but good luck. Looks for lotteries. We're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing... Memory transversal sequence in three, two, one. Off blast. Yes, 
Okay, so here's where we are in the timeline. Oh, dang. Right, that should be Colin's last accessible memory. And check out the raining heavy sleeper champ over here. That memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What did the helm you put on our patient? The equipment looked different. I'll just remove the casing during maintenance, that's all. Why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. You know, I added a new feature. New feature? Behold! Corn! Never mind, forget I asked. Yeah! What? Three different heads. <laughs> How much paradise rich oil baron? Okay, yes, move me. Get me. Get me. <laughs> Mithril dinosaurs! Plain black. Plain blacker. And sock puppets. You go with Mithril. Sash, Amish Paradise, Rich Oil Baron. That'll go smooth. No, I'm not. I'm not changing it at all. Okay. Ta da! You look the same. Huh, it's the system commuted. And my handsomest look is just how I am. I wonder though. Why are you looking at me, at me like that? Okay, listen. You better not be. Dagger it! No, you son of a... Pulling locks. Ooh, the bun. Saucy bangs. Okay, I'll go with the buns. What? What? I'll just go with classic Eva. Socks, plain white, bright teal, giraffe print, fuzzy Hanukkah, cucumbers, more hole in sock, rainbow stripes, or silk. We'll go with the rare silk. <laughs> well, that could have been worse. I guess I'll wear it like this until we can find Colin. Got lucky this time. It's really not counting on something more base comb worthy. I don't want to know what you meant by that. It sucks, by the way. Mm. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. stare. She, she didn't seem to like us before. Yeah. Maybe he's out on the balcony. Colin? What the... Stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Okay. Actually, there's something I want to check upstairs. Upstairs. It's still full of books here. Must have cleared it very recently then. Cleared it? Yeah, when I checked this place in reality, it was empty except for one odd book. 
much in here, actually. Ooh, spooky. This hall didn't look like this. So Oldie can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kind of spatial consistencies? Well. Oh, hey, look. Colin? Yeah, it's Colin. Target acquired. Let's go. Oh, but you look nice. I like it this way better. Bring on Entity Interaction. Colin? My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, a memory tra tra traversal specialist at Sigma Corp. I don't, I really don't like this creepy music here, in this spot. My colleague here is Dr. Hatan. Dr. Manhattan. Manhattan. You're Dr. Neil Watts. How did you know? Name tag. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin. The procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. It says I'm both here and far away at once. This isn't where I think I am. My head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. <laughs> Fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're there, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Well, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time. It's best we get started. You're the most recent slice of column that we could load up. The only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good, I'll keep your state saved so we won't have to need... So we won't need to have this conversation again. Save on a seat. Yes, Your Highness. There's saves coming. <laughs> now, in order to help you relieve your or relive your life here, to fulfill your last wish, you're first gonna backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. Then we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self. And the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. Jump between memories, we need mementos. There are items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down. We don't even know what his wish is. We still don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? I think it can answer both of your questions with this. Sigma contract. Text is rather blurry, but... Whoa, it is a memento. Sweet, let's move! The memento barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent. The next one won't be so easy. Charge it up first. Let's do it. Farthest one linked to the other. What do I do here?
Oh, I get it. We might come back for your help again. Yeah, let's go through at least one memory before we go to bed. guest house. I guess where they wine and dine the geezers for signing up for the service. Sure been a while since I visited. It's a bit different from when I was last here too. Let's check it out. There's only two here. Oops. My mistake. Outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds. Your appointment is about ready. It's right this way. <laughs> Welcome to the Sigmund Court. This house. Please have a seat in our living room. Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? You must have come a long way to get here. We'll get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. Looks like you went behind their back to go there. There's so much to the world, isn't there? more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there once upon a time. Fireplace. I recall the fireplace here looking like that. to experience what it's like to be famous. You get a lot of requests for that. It floats your boat and consider it done. We have to do another one of these. I'm going to go take a nap. It's not so bad. At least we get it done fast and go home early. See, our service is really quite simple. Tell us your wish and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, unreached gold, and secret desires, you name it. Dear Jeannie Colin, what is your wish? So if I understand this correctly, 
saying I can't wish for more wishes. You know, I've done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I, I once thought I'd never be, seen what I once thought I'd never see. In the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. I find myself here, just like everyone else. I walk through these doors and I realize there's still this empty feeling inside of me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough to the world before, or done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived a happy life and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we're here, Colin. Give us the word and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want to fix? I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make that me live that fulfilling life I wanted. I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. You don't want us to change anything? Colin, change, changing things is what we do. We change things and we make them better. That's why you come to us. So we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the life... Or please just keep the memories of the life with my family intact. So you want to waive specificity from the contract. Something like that. I hope you know there are no guarantees or result. I'm aware. It's settled then. Let's put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. And not to change anything? We have free reign over his fate? What kind of a last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Eh, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. We're their best people, Ava. Booyah! Actually, about that. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. Let's go get that memento. Just one more thing. Tell my family. I don't want them to think I'm not content with how things are. You know, I've been rather impressed. Before. Well, back in the days, you kept on yelling ju um, juvenilities while shooting the barriers. Recently, I haven't heard any Hadouken or Kamehameha or whatnot. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh. Mm Thank you. Let's go to the next memory. Probably not going far back. I 
better head on out before I forget. Take this hat, Pops. The headache you've been getting. You should be more careful of the wind. I'm telling him that for ages. He never listens. Alright, alright. I worry if it stops that multi-directional nagging. Hey, it's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, I was talking with my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny, you see. She's single and... Look, thanks, but... I just really need to focus on my career right now. So... You guys are gonna go back to feeding the ducks or something? You wouldn't have to resort to that if you visit us m more often, you little bastard. Ah, huh, but that hot hat is 100% cotton. Alright, you're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overlord of the ducks. Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. Not for the duck thing, but like, you know what I mean. Don't stay out too long at this time of the year. That kid needs to make us a grandchild. What's wrong with Jenny, anyway? Nothing, you know how it is. When you were young, didn't your parents try to push people onto you too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. It sucked all the chemistry out of it for me as well. What are you doing? I'm texting him Jenny's info to set them up. Don't do that. He's driving, do it after he gets home. Good call. Make sure to include some pictures, too. Good ones with lighting coming from the side. No words. Another pics with no duck face. Yep. Serious? One for each duck? Not complaining. Wish there was a whole flock. So he says he has no regrets, but we just found one regret. some pics of Asher, too. The ones where his eyebrows are on point. Got it. Send the pics where the chin is down. And send the ones with the duck face. Said that already. And send the ones with the duck face. Said that already. Okay. here too. Yep, there's more over here. Okay. My 
granddaughter turns five this year. Can you believe it? It's growing so big so fast, I'm thinking of making my knitting modular. Time really flies, huh? Kidding. I didn't realize how old I was getting until I broke the other hip. Word of advice, don't go breaking your hip. Yeah, I've been lucky on that front so far. Seriously? I shouldn't even be out right now. Uh, why are you out right now? It's like just a bag of loose bones rattling around here, you tell ya? Just clinging, clunging, clinging, clanging. Why are you even standing up? Huh, that actually counted as a memory. What's this? A call card. Print it out another. Sigmund Corp. Make you change your mind. Still feel the same way about it. Some days I wake up and see you on the balcony looking out like that. I don't see it, but I know there's something out there that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Of course I am. I have you and Asher. Why do we want to go through with their services? Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Not that it'd be related to you two, anyhow. There seem to be a lot rela- I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot related to them. Call them. We go through the procedure. Of that new life. Just hold on to something from here. Not like that, Dia. I won't forget about you. Hey. You forgot to bring duck food. Explains her attitude. Told you there was something up with her. You know, she could always sign up for Sigcorp for a life where Colin never signed up with Sigcorp. Har har. Let's try to find that memento. Really? Oh, it's here. We should really end the stream with this after this um, momentum. go back and then what the uh, what's going on oh god oh I I'm picking a bad spot to stop I think but I do need to I I'm seeing Star Wars early tomorrow morning. What took you so long? I, I thought I saw someone weird back there. Huh, did you see that to their face and hurt their feelings? Uh, weird as in the, they were watching from the woods. Watching from the woods? And when I looked, it almost seemed like they... Uh, never mind, it's stupid. Okay, Eva. Be honest now. You were reading too much dusk light! <laughs> I already said never mind. They're static anyway. So it was no one important. Hmm. You'd be happy to hear that while you were staring at nothing, I scattered this memory out. Wait, what? It's only behind you by a few seconds. <laughs> nice try, Slowpoke. Yeah, here's what's going on here. In the kitchen, they have a fight about what we suspect from the last memory. Bam. 
After that, they make up and play music together over there. Aw, cute, aw, etc., etc. Oh, and then Colin goes on to sulk at the balcony. The end. Dude, spoilers! Aren't always a bad thing when we're on the job. Okay, I haven't picked up a memory link to, for you to make up for it. If you want to see everything yourself as much, then just don't use my unlocks. Fia. Dreaming are a dream long past. Perhaps that one special someone? You get to do it all over again. Who would you be? Where would you go? Singling Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Oh, well, I'm glad they've made better slogans since then. I don't understand. Why would you even consider... Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? Not tossing anything aside. I mean, don't you have regrets too? Yeah, but I actually have respect for what I've been through here. What we've been through here. Tell me, what do you want to change? Want... I mean... So many little things that could have just been better. Better. If you call Sigmund, what would you ask for? I don't know what I what to tell you, Fia. The least you could have done is make up something nice, is it? Remember, Colin is our client. Everything else is fluff. I know. I'm gonna stop here. This is a good place to stop. But yeah, um, that's the first part of Finding Paradise. Thank you for thank you all for watching, and um, we'll start again with part two after I'm done watching Star Wars. Thanks again. <laughs>